Shania. We can't leave your name here. Yeah, but hold on a minute. Shania. We can't leave your name here, but I see some relations have changed. We'll shoulder them for you. Let me get this straight. You want me to talk the defense squad into issuing you a transporter? You're dreaming, young lady. Out of the question. Please, sir. It would only be for a short time. I don't suppose this is one of the Elder's requests? No, no, it's nothing to do with her. Jensen. Now there's something you don't see every day. Ah, Elder. You came at the right time. Can you make these knuckleheads see sense? I mean, it's good that they're so enthusiastic. Can you get it through to them that we've got problems enough in the city already? Everyone's all fighting to the best of their ability. I don't see the problem here myself. Don't see the problem? We don't have a damned clue when the next Mobius raid hits us, and you don't see the problem. Come on now, Garrett. What we should be looking at right now is tightening our defenses and protecting the city. We can leave Mobius to Ouroboros. Sounds like you're trying to overturn the Senate's orders. I'm just offering a bit of advice here. Just saying there's no point throwing good resources after bad. Hey, with all due respect... Don't you get it? You folks just haven't got what it takes to go against Mobius. What? You've got to accept reality. Otherwise, you're throwing your lives away for nothing. For nothing? Everyone's fighting to keep people like you alive, and you call that nothing. You think you can trade in your life and change the world? You think it's that simple? But if we do nothing, then nothing will change. You fill the youngsters up with fine ideas, then send them out to the slaughter. Yeah, some talent, that is. We don't force our way of life on anyone. They're the ones who decide. Let me ask you then. Did you choose for yourself? You chose his life personally, did you? <laughs> Your husband must be rolling in his grave. My brother is dead. He won't regret anything anymore. You trying to mock me? If it came across like that, I'm sorry. But bringing up the dead to prove a point, is that really something a Doyle would do? Ugh. All right, you gonna tell me what that was all about? Ah, oh, it's no big deal, really. Thanks, but I'll be the judge of how big a deal it is or isn't, Jensen. Are you telling me that as Elder? Jensen. If you aren't pulling rank, then please believe me. I'm not a kid anymore. Olive, plan B. Okay. Hey, Monica. You want to grab a bite to eat? I haven't eaten a thing since this morning. It'd be great to have some company. Someone say eat! Time for tasties! Wind it in, Manana. Sure thing. Let's go to Michiba Canteen then. See some relations have changed. Can second help? 
helping fit in tummy of Manana. Hmm. Manana not even had first yet. Eat whatever you like. My treat. Keep bringing it out, will ya? Gotcha! Ah. Where do I start? I knew there were a few people whose hearts weren't really in the fight against Mobius, but I'm not sure I understand why they're so openly bitter about it. Please don't judge him too harshly. Garrett just wants to protect his family. His family? Right. He has kids, just like I do. That's why he can't forgive me. I did something no parent should ever do. But why? What did you do? Sending your children into battle. What mother would do that? But this is the life I chose. The day my husband died, I chose to take the mantle of Elder and lead the city. Remind me, a husband is... Someone you promised to live with for the rest of your life. He must have been very important to Monica. So, after you lost your husband, did you become who you wanted to be? I did. I wanted to put an end to the war with Mobius and to build a way of life that everyone in this world truly deserves. That's what the six houses are working towards, and that's what I want as well. Oh, sorry to keep you. Here it is. The house special. Aquapaxa a la city. Thanks. Oh, looks banging. Actually, there's something I've been curious about. Like, being elder or being a mother, do you have to choose one or the other? Guess it's like becoming the commander of a colony or something? Yeah, that's a good comparison. If you take on that role, you're responsible for every single person that lives there. So being elder means Gondor can't get special treatment, even though she's my daughter. Sounds like a tough break. Boss, got something you might like to hear. We confirmed an unauthorized transport leaving the city. It's piloted by Jansen and his crew. What's its heading? I'd like to know that myself. The location tracker's out. I think it's safe to say they're planning quite the stunt. Right. Olive's there now. Should we send the armory? The search area's too wide. Maybe Garrett could help us? Right. He was talking about the transport in the plaza. You hear that? I don't have a good feeling about this, boss. I'll speak to Garrett. You can do a little groundwork for me, Travis. Word gets around. Imagine the commotion once the Conservatives hear about this. Work your charms on them, Travis. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, boss. Let's settle this squabble. Looks like we'll be skipping lunch, then. Never mind. Let's just try to find out what Jansen's up to and... Huh? Speed eating. You get used to it in my line of work. We should get to the residential district. Garrett will be at home. Hold on a minute. This way. Yes, he was trying to scrounge a transport off me. I told him no. Didn't ask what he'd do with it. I see. But whatever it was, I guess they went and did it anyway. Or you wouldn't be here asking about it. Every ruddy last candidate got together and went against their orders. Insane. It's like Shania all over again. <sighs> or rather, maybe Shania was the trigger for all this. 
Maybe Jansen and the others are doing this because of what she did. Huh? They realized that no matter how good the defenses were, the downfall could still come from within. And if they don't act, there's no future. If you see it like that, it's not hard to understand. But what are they trying to do right now? We still don't have a clue. They aren't selling the city out, though. You get that, don't you? If they're trying to help, it's a pretty dumb stunt to pull. How childish can you get? Garrett. I just don't want to watch them fail. All that blood, sweat, tears, pain. It does no good if they throw it all away. Why is that so hard to understand? We need to teach them about the past and help them make the right choices before disaster happens. That's our responsibility as adults. Right, Monica? I understand how you feel. But Jansen's crew aren't fighting for victory or glory here. Right now, they just want to do something that won't leave them with regret. Absolute army cack. Yeah, maybe so. But would you rather they were mindless, obedient automatons? How's that different to being controlled by Mobius? What? We need to get through to them so that we can teach them how to get back on their feet after they fail. We've seen a little more of this life than them. And, as you say, it's our job to help them understand that. Well, well. What a surprise to hear the Elder talking like a parent for a change. Picked it up from my dad. It's how he raised me, now I think about it. Hmm. Yes, I can see that. Anyway, thanks for your time, Garrett. <sighs> Don't mention it. Sorry I couldn't be more use. Okay, back to square one. Miss Vandam, I was just on duty. I didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything. No problem. Continue. I've got some information about the location of that transport. Kaito was talking about Corn Island. Corn Island, you say? Maybe there's something to it. Yeah. My husband was there 14 years ago. He went out on a mission to collect ether. That's where he lost his life. What? That's... If they're heading to the deepest level, then they're in trouble. Even if they're sure of themselves. We've got to get to Corn Island. I see some relations have changed. They aren't here. You think they went further? Hmm. 
Did you hear that? <gasps> Mimi, over there! Oh no. We've got to help. Hurry, there's still time. Roger. guys I don't want to die Johnson everyone no chance Everyone all right? What? Monica? We got you. No time to play with you, I'm afraid. Out of the way! So sorry. Disobeying orders, stealing a transport. In the end, you're all safe, so I suppose there's that to be thankful for. <sighs> but what in the hell were you thinking? It was for the city. We thought we could seize the loot, maybe use it to beef up our defense. Even if we can't beat Ouroboros, we can still fight. Monica. Our duty is to protect the city from our enemies. And, I mean, we got the feeling that we didn't really matter to you, like we weren't real candidates. The way you all just fought, it easily surpassed even our top veterans. But not even the great Guernica Vandom could stand up to the horrors we're facing. They'll chew you up and spit you out. <sighs> and if you were to lose your lives needlessly, you'd leave behind more sadness. I don't want any of you to forget that.
Olive, I'm gonna need a report. So when can I get it? Uh, uh, tomorrow? I want it today. Get these supplies stowed away. Also, I expect a written apology from all of you. Fifty pages. Fifty? Not enough. In the very near future, we're going to need about everything you can give us. Until then, you need to prepare. Bud, you're out there on the front line, putting yourself in harm's way. At least let us handle the rear. Please, just trust us. You little... When my brother died, on the day that you were made elder, I decided, I pledged, never to leave you alone. I would not let you end up like him. And so, that's exactly what I'm doing here. Somehow. Unbelievable. That's why you nearly threw your life away. It's because I love you. Huh? If you're going to tell us to survive, well then, you should be following your own advice. Jensen. I'll bet you probably only thought of me as a little brother or a friend. But I, I think I know you better than anyone. Oh. oh. Hold on, did he just... Just what? What now? Just be quiet. Jensen. Um, I'm sorry. You see, right now, I... You don't have to say anything now. It's just, I needed to get that across. Instead, when the fighting's done, maybe we could talk this over with each other some more? I'm your superior officer. Yeah, but when Mobius are gone, ranks won't mean a thing. <sighs> Please, just think it over. <laughs> Dude, nice one! Were you scared? Shut it. Anyway, should we go? It's gonna be tough, getting that stuff out of the cave. Ah, snuff it. I'll help you out. Me too! Time for big treasure hunt. Wow, I've never seen you fill a face like that before. What kind of face, exactly? <laughs> like a turkey and eating a black liver bean. Yeah, I can imagine. I have certain duties to uphold as Elder. I've got to head the army, win the future. So, I just thought I could put off everything else until the world to come. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity. Just talk to him. Tell him what kind of a future you want in this world to come. Mother, elder, can't say I understand what those really mean. If you look to the future, you can become whoever you want to be. In the wise words of a certain someone. <laughs> Touché. You should be who you want to be too. Life after war, eh? Maybe there is.
I see some relations have changed. I see some relations have changed.